Okay, hi, here we are. The day has come. There was over 230 submissions, which is a lot, and that's not even including the submissions that didn't submit on time. And speaking of that, there seemed to be a little bit of confusion over when the deadline was. All songs must be submitted by 12 a.m. Eastern time on Friday, May 8th. Now, when I made that video and when I made that form, I thought that I was being very clear, but to be fair, at the time, I did not consider that there are quite a lot of people in the world who do not use the 12 hour a.m. p.m. time system. So there was a bit of confusion. Some people thought that 12 a.m. meant noon. So I extended the submission period by 12 hours to noon Eastern time on May 8th. But then I got yelled at for using time zones in general. Apparently from what I'm told on Twitter and elsewhere, every single contest must use the latest time zone in the world. That is really, really convenient for the people on the island of Kiribati or any sailors lost at sea who might want to submit some music to a remix contest. Okay, I might be wrong, so I extended the submissions again until May 8th was over in every single time zone in the world. But then, even though there's forensic evidence of me saying May 8th in the video, I got accused of secretly moving the deadline to an earlier date. Jesus Christ, this is why we can't have nice things. But, however, the other 99% of artists who participated in this contest actually blew our minds with their submissions. Like there is so much amazing material here that I am frankly amazed that we got through it with an objective decision within two weeks. There were four judges total. I personally listened to all of the hundreds of submissions and made a short list. That short list ended up being over 50 tracks. So I had to go through that short list and make another short list. By the time I got down to the top 10 tracks, I actually felt bad because I had to force myself to nitpick to, I guess, arrange them in some sort of order of superiority. By the time we nitpicked our way to the top two tracks, things got so difficult that I just had to make a quick little random Twitter poll that ran for two hours where people just selected between randomly named files. So without further ado, let's go over my favorite submissions and of course, announce the winners. Okay, so my first shout out has to go to the most original and unexpected submission. And I don't think there's anything I could screw up worse than pronouncing a Hungarian name. I'm not only bad at the pronunciation, but also the first name and the surnames are reversed, but then I'm not sure if they're reversing them for me knowing that I'm American and I speak everything backwards from them, or if they're just telling me their actual name and I have to reverse it. Actually, now that I think about it, I should just use the artist's name and not dox this person. The artist is Sync Music, and his submission is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, I smoked DMT and I went underwater into a cartoon sea and I could breathe down there. And all of the breaths I took tasted like how bubblegum smells. And also there was a Pat Metheny concert happening. Just wow, dude, this is next level. I absolutely love it. I really want to hear more of your music, hear what it sounds like. Please leave a link in the comments to that. You took this in an area that nobody else even glanced in. It's great. Another one I want to personally shout out to is a submission by the artist One Track Mind. This sounds like if there was a John Wick prequel and it's in a nightclub in like 1987 and John Wick is basically disarming and getting in a big fight, but it's sort of a dance fight with a bunch of henchmen and uh, Kurt Russell is DJing and this is the music that's driving the whole scene. Seriously fantastic material that went into a very unique and unexpected direction and I absolutely love it. The track submitted from the artist I Veneer was very next level. I'm always attracted to music where I can't really tell what's going on in the production process, and this is definitely one of them. I love how it sort of abuses Fibonacci rolls, which actually sounds like some sort of tree-shaped sushi. But what I'm talking about is that clever bouncing ball effect. But that sort of reverse bouncing ball effect drives the rhythm of the actual song, which is um, super fucking creative. Okay, and before we announce the winners, I want to give a huge thank you to all of those who submitted tracks and collaborated with this channel. The sheer amount of submissions is mind-blowing and hugely successful, but even more mind-blowing and hugely successful is the quality of them. There was so much good music and there are so many talented people and I'm 
I just can't believe it. I really, really want to make, I don't know, just a giant playlist so everybody can sort of hear this stuff. However, I don't really have the rights to be uploading your music to a different host. And I know it'd be cool with most of you, but if it wasn't cool with one person, that would give me a lot of headaches. I do, however, have a few ideas that might actually help this along a little bit. Uh, number one, I'm gonna pin a comment down there on my penis. And uh, in that comment, just reply to it with a link to your track. And that way people can just sort of browse through the tracks a little bit easier or even better. Number two, how about if you have your track on SoundCloud, make it public and tag it, or you can upload your track to SoundCloud and tag it. And let's just use the tag hashtag polyend contest. And that way people could just click the hashtag and browse through all of the material very easily. Finally, I did a stream where I was listening to some of this music and some of you proposed an idea to me where all of these would be in a giant compilation where the proceeds would go to charity. I love this idea, but the damn copyright thing is still a little bit too sticky. And to do this smoothly, I would have to have your written consent to sell your music in the original agreement when you submitted your track. But now I know, and next time it's gonna be even better. And hey, you know what? If you're a big music gear company and you wanna have a contest that you sponsor and give some really cool prizes to and maybe even match the donation money from the compilation sales from all the people who wrote music, you would have a lot of quarantined artists working in your favor for a really, really cool cause. <coughs> Roland, <coughs> Yamaha, <coughs> Korg, <coughs> Akai. You could promote your product and make the world a better place, Holmes. Anyway, onto the winners. All of the music that you are about to hear in this top three result is the result of a lot of scrutiny and nitpicking. And one thing that all of these three tracks have in common is that me, Sarah, and two people from Polyend all independently shortlisted them from random links. Another thing that all of the top three seem to have in common is that they all made me forget that this was a remix contest. It's like, rather than using the samples to inspire them to make a track, they were already inspired to make a track and use the samples as a tool to get their vision to turn into sound waves. Number three is a submission from Ultra Sid. I absolutely love the vibe of this track, and I wasn't exactly shocked to find out that he used a tracker to make it, and he's also a member of the demo scene that I spoke of in my original tracker video. On one of his websites, he claims to not be a musician, which is funny because this is probably the most independently melodic submission that we received. Here it is.
Between the judges, we simply could not decide which was the better of the top two tracks. So I created a Twitter poll with a random A.MP3 and B.MP3 and left it up for two hours. And it looks like A. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so even after recalculating for those who have pressed the wrong button, we still have a very sizable advantage for track A. So track B, the track in second place is actually the track that I personally rated the highest. It's abrasive and delicate at the same time. The amount of work that went into it is just insane. And it quickly brings you to like an emotional place where you forget that this has anything to do with a sample contest. And when you consider that the track, that such an amazing track standalone was made using the limitations of this contest, it's pretty mind blowing. The creator of the second place track is Jesse Hamill, who is strangely enough, the father of the late and great Gabe the dog. I browsed around and listened to some of Jesse's music and it comes to no surprise, a lot of it's really incredible. I put some of his Bandcamp and SoundCloud links down below. You should definitely check them out. Amazing work, Jesse. I hope to hear more from you in the future.
Finally, the winner, the champion, the gold medalist, numero uno, the person who gets to choose between a Pollyan tracker, Medusa, or perk, is someone who goes by the name of Tig, also known as Derek Roberts. I believe when I shortlisted Derek's track, I was listening to it on the live stream with a lot of my viewers, and it seemed like a lot of my viewers had the same sentiment about it that I did, which is, it's an amazing track. Between the four individuals who judge these tracks, we all independently agreed that this one covered all of the bases. It's mixed very well, it's impeccably produced, it changes thematically quite a bit, it's experimental while being melodic and emotional at the same time. It's a really solid track from a really solid Solid artist. In good faith and in 100% transparency, I know Derek. In fact, he has opened for me at shows before. In fact, he has had a release that was distributed by my label. But more importantly, and this is exactly why I randomized the files, I didn't know the track was Derek's until I'd already rated it and shortlisted it. This track had the highest cumulative rating between all the judges, and then I even let the public make the final decision. None of this comes as a surprise to me. Derek is a really talented musician, and my viewers or electronic music fans in general should check out his work. I'm going to leave you with the winning submission from the artist, Tig, and please do not forget to put your link down there on the pinned comment to let us hear your music or use the hashtag polyendcontest on SoundCloud. That way your music can be heard. It would be criminal for all of your music to not be heard by more ears. There is so much incredible material. I want to do this thing again in the future on this channel, and I'm going to do my best to finesse some sponsors to give us some really cool prizes, and I would also like to involve a charity of some sort. As always, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and apparently I'm supposed to now tell you to click a bell icon. That's what YouTube told me to do. If you want to support this channel while filling your brain with knowledge from a vast library of documentaries, click the Curiosity Stream link in the description. Bye.